Now Golden State's kind of become the bad guys, I, I think, from a national perspective. Can, are, are the Cavaliers, is the view of the Cavaliers changing a little bit nationally because they're kind of the only team that can probably beat the Warriors? Yeah, I think so. I mean, like, first of all, the vitriol that was thrown at LeBron and the Heat in 2010 is not, you're not going to see that um, this time. I, I really believe that, that that's true. But, you know, to the extent that people will show some general distaste for the Warriors, um, it, it is going to be something that they have to overcome. And I think the Cavs, uh, just from a likability perspective, will benefit from that, too. Um you know, I mean, it's, it's they are the defending champs, but now they are kind of the underdog again. And LeBron, you know, has actually really gone through not just a period of a couple years with the Heat, but kind of a longer stretch of just like general fatigue, I think, um, by some, you know, some in the national media and some national basketball fans. You know, his, his jersey doesn't sell quite as much as Steph's. Uh, it's been that way for several, you know, uh, sales cycles. Um, he's not the leading vote getter in the all-star game. And so, you know, there, there had been that. And now um, he's, he's won, you know, he's finished off like one of these greatest American sports stories like we talked about a couple weeks ago. And now he's the only one who can slay this big dragon in Golden State. So um, I, I do think that, that, that he will, that LeBron personally and the Cats as a team will see a, a boost, I think, in, in, in you know, their general support.